Rias, today you sent me a video with your girls. They look so small and cute there. I'm not even sure how many years ago they did their first shooting day. How old they were there? It's amazing. The moment that you mentioned the kids, I started beaming. And uh, I think that the first time that we got them involved in, in front of the camera, they must have been around three or four years old, very young. And for me, it was first just getting them to understand how to be comfortable in front of the camera. And the real objective for me was confidence, right? This is that when they're able to talk in front of an audience, when they're able to talk in front of a camera, many times it's the lens of the camera that is enabling them to communicate with the world, right? That's essentially how it started. And of course, because we have 3D Crystal marketing opportunity, I tell all of our wholesalers this as well. I'm like, if you have children or you have nephews and nieces, don't underestimate the power of what a child brings to the marketing engine of your company. It's phenomenal what a child can do. It's like when we as adults talk, we're trained to talk with longer sentences, bigger words. And you have to remember, so many people are competing for your mind share from the moment you get up to the moment you go to bed with all kinds of marketing messages, that it's the message that is the simplest, that is the shortest, that is to the point. Love your 3D crystal. That's the message that's going to resonate and stay in their mind. And it doesn't hurt if the message is delivered by someone who's cute as well. They did that cute, hi Canada. Hi Canada. Five years ago, they did this. Hi Canada. In 2023. And it looks so different. And what I also noticed that the product itself look also different. So our children become better actors, but our product, it looks better. How your product change from your perspective within those years? You bring about a really good point. This is that when you're living and breathing it, you don't necessarily see the drastic change because they're incremental, right? Every day, every month, every quarter, every year, we're getting incrementally better. But when you look at it over the span of what we had five years ago and what we have today, all of a sudden those little incremental changes make such a huge difference. And you see that in the products that we were creating back then, you see that in the performance of the children and how they're marketing the product. It's quite remarkable. And this is key is, is that you want to be able to always live perpetual innovation. You always want to consistently raise the bar. And when you can do that, then you know that you're always going to lead the industry, right? That you're always going to be at the forefront of it as well. I would say that the key thing that I always want to communicate, and I say this at Board of Trade events, at Chamber of Commerce events, that it's so important to get the children involved in business at an early age, because it does two things. One is it's good for the child, right? The child has an opportunity to learn about communication. They get to understand what their parents are doing. They get to understand the value of money. And if not money, at least being rewarded for doing something, for working, for achieving something. Once a year, we'll pull them out of school and we'll take them out on assignment. And we'll take them. And that's what happened in that video as well, as we were taking them downtown to the studio to actually re-record because we had the ad completed. It was ready to go to air. And then we get a call from the network saying, sorry, this will not actually hit the airwaves. It's not going to broadcast. Well, why? Because we didn't realize it was the first time that we were getting the girls involved in TV ads. It's different when you're doing social media, but when we got them involved in TV ads, we realized that there's such strict policies on what a child is allowed to say and communicate when they're on TV. And so there were certain lines that had to be omitted and certain lines that had to be added. So we took them that day to the studio to actually re-record and they got a chance again to be a part of the whole production environment and see what it is that we're doing. So there's two things, right? One is it benefits the child. But the second is what I was saying earlier is, is that it benefits the business because now a child is communicating to the audience in much simpler words, in shorter sentences. They're getting the message across into the mind of the consumer much easier, much faster, in simpler language and in a cuter form. I guarantee it is like if you do an A-B split test and you show an ad done by me, for example, an adult, and an ad done by the child, it's the child's ad 
that's going to perform much better. In 2022, you had the chance to take your daughter Amana, I truly believe, to the India. And she took a stage there in front of a Cockpit 3D team. What was your overall thoughts, impression? What did you had in your mind at that moment? Did you ask her to speak in front of the audience? What did you try to achieve when you asked her to do that? Or she, that was her willingness to do that, by the way? Generally, at, at that age, we have to prompt them and we have to steer them in the direction. The beauty is, is that she didn't object, right? So it was like, we're going to be here. We're going to have a large audience, a large team. Daddy's going to have to talk to them and congratulate them for what they've done and motivate them. And it would really help daddy if you also did the same. And so what happens is, is the entire approach is, is that now she's helping me. And she understands that by doing it, she's helping her dad. And I see it like the modern day lemonade stand. It's like back in the day, the way I learned business was by making lemonade and going to the street corner and selling it for a dollar. And now what's happening is, is that the child gets an opportunity to learn business by actually being in front of large audiences, by actually seeing the results of their work. These ads, they then come in on the weekends and are printing crystals from real orders that have come from the ads that they recorded. Can you imagine the power? Them being in the studio, doing all the behind the scenes, joking in front of the camera, having a good time, creating an ad, seeing what was done on a green screen, converted to a complete finished copy with all these effects and everything. That's step number one. That, that blows them away. But then step number two is They see all these orders coming and shipping and the aircrafts that are taking them every night and they realize that it's a result of their work. Now, how much more motivated can you get the child to be when they are able to see the results of their work? So in India, to answer your question, it was an amazing platform for her to be able to do the exact same thing that she does over here on camera, but now do it in front of a real audience. That's a whole other ball game, right? because now there's so many other variables at play. And the beauty is, is that it achieved for the business, but it also achieved for her because she was able to develop a new skill, a new strength. And again, this is my main message to anyone, you know, whether you're a reseller of ours, whether you're just watching this video, running your own business is don't underestimate the power of getting the children involved in the business in different facets, whether it's in marketing, whether it's on the weekends doing production, whatever it might be. I'm a huge advocate in getting the children started early and it gives them something productive to do with their time as opposed to doing other things. They say an idle mind is, you know, the devil's playground. And so when you're giving them the opportunity to be productive outside of school and extracurricular, you know, it's probably the best gift you'll ever be able to give a child. Great tip, Rias. Let's finish this video with some behind the scenes, how your girls printing your crystals. And I wish we have more such gorgeous content and tips from you in future. Thank you for your time, Rias. Thank you, Victor.